Here's its complete history and background. Introduction The Rockwell B-1 Lancer is a supersonic heavy bomber built by the United States. It was designed to carry large amounts of weapons at very high speeds, faster than sound, while also being able to fly at low altitudes to avoid radar detection. It's often nicknamed the Bone from B-1-B-1. Origins and Development in the 1960s, during the Cold War, the United States wanted a new long-range bomber that could replace older bombers like the B-52 Stratofortress. The US Air Force needed a bomber that could fly fast, supersonic, carry nuclear weapons, fly long distances without refueling, evade radar detection by flying low. So, the B-1 project was born under President Richard Nixon's administration in 1970. Design and Features built by Rockwell International, later part of Boeing. It has variable sweep wings, meaning the wings can move backward or forward depending on speed, forward for slow flight, swept back for supersonic flight. Powered by four General Electric F101 turbofan engines, crew, four people, pilot, co-pilot, and two weapon systems officers. It can fly up to Mach 1.2, about 1,450 kilometers per hour. Combat range, around 12,000 kilometers with aerial refueling, can carry over 34 tons of bombs. Versions. There were several versions during development. One, B1A, 1970s, the first prototype version. Four prototypes were built and tested between 1974 and 1978. The program was cancelled in 1977 by President Jimmy Carter, who believed new missile technology, like cruise missiles, made it unnecessary. 2. B-1B 1980s. The program was revived by President Ronald Reagan in 1981. The new version, B-1B, was improved with better stealth features to reduce radar visibility, stronger defense systems, and more efficient engines. The first B-1B entered service in 1986. Military service, originally built for nuclear missions carrying nuclear bombs as part of America's nuclear deterrent force. After the Cold War, it was converted for conventional warfare, non-nuclear. Used heavily in Operation Desert Fox 1998, Iraq, Kosovo War 1999, War in Afghanistan 